Good evening. Perth has been covered in an eerie smoke haze for most of the day as more than 100 firefighters battle the blaze near Mundaring. A watch and act alert was issued late this afternoon as the fire moved towards Mundaring Weir Village. We've got reporters covering all sides of this story tonight. First to Ellie Cormack. Ellie, what's the latest? Alice, fire authorities were worried there was a possible threat to lives and homes near Mundaring Weir Road between Firewood Road and Lockwood Road. But in the last few minutes, fortunately, the wind has changed and that alert has been downgraded uh, to advice level now. But this blaze is still out of control and fire crews will be here well into the night. Today, it blanketed Perth in very thick smoke. A huge bushfire in the hills brought this ominous horizon to Perth. The apocalyptic skies produced by strong easterly winds and thick smoke that became trapped in the clouds. The haze began moving across the city late this morning and is tonight still shrouding some suburbs. The weird weather event caused by an out-of-control blaze near Mundaring Weir. One bushwalker had to be rescued. These pictures taken from the helicopter that flew him to safety after he became trapped on the Bibliman track, caught between the fast moving wall of flames and the dam. I started uh, about 10 kilometres to the southeast of Sawyers Valley, detected by our spotter plane this morning at about half past eight. Uh, so we've had crews working on the fire uh, all day. More than 150 firefighters battled the blaze in temperatures that soared to 38 degrees. Authorities believe it was deliberately lit. Despite the inferno stretching across 1,000 hectares, the fire is deep in state forest. It means no homes or lives have been threatened, but the green new growth trees are producing a huge amount of smoke. Four bulldozers and two front end loaders being supported by um, aircraft as well. Locals in Mundaring and Sawyers Valley not concerned for their homes, but furious there's a fire bug on the loose. We're packed, we're ready to go. Um, my husband's at home with our kids and um, he's got the car that's got the seats in it. And um, yeah, if, it, if we get the word to go, we'll go. You hear all the time about firebugs in the area. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's sad. It's sad that you know, we live up here and this is, our, this is where we live and this is our lifestyle and we've got so much at risk and that someone's deliberately lighting these fires. Huge plumes of black smoke could be seen by drivers travelling through Sawyers Valley, but there was no alert for motorists in Perth's CBD as the haze hovered well above the ground. Flights at Perth Airport also continued to operate as usual, but passengers had to travel through this to get in and out. The fire started around half past eight this morning, about 12 kilometres southeast of Mundaring. By half past two, it had burned through a thousand hectares of state forest, and fire crews say the fight isn't over yet. Firefighters will be working uh, through the night, talking to the duty forecaster. We expect the relative humidity to climb, but the guys and girls got their work cut out for them. And Ellie, that firefighting operation will go on for hours now. Why are crews finding it so difficult? Alice, it's deep in the forest, so difficult to access. The ground is rocky. Uh, we've had quite strong winds today that have fanned those flames and moved the fire quite quickly, which has made it difficult to contain. Right now, local roads, as well as part of the Bibliman track here, uh, is closed down. The Bibliman track hut, as well as several wooden bridges in the area, are tonight under threat. So crews being kept very busy nearly 11 hours after, we believe, someone deliberately lit this fire. Alice. All right, thank you, Ellie. The hunt is on for the arsonist who started this blaze. Estelle Lewis is also in Mundaring tonight. Estelle, what's the latest on the fire bug? Well, Alice, the Department of Parks and Wildlife says there were some suspicious spot fires in the area last month and that's what's led them to believe that this fire today was also deliberately lit. It was sparked near the corner of Gorry Road and Chamber Road around 8.30 this morning. Experts say large fires like this one can trigger fire bugs and lead to more arson attacks. There was another deliberately lit blaze on a rural property off Armadale Road in Armadale late this morning. Nine News has been told a known arsonist has been lighting fires in the area for two or three weeks. Uh, we get big things lights going on up at um, Mundaring and Sawyers Valley. Uh, a lot of smoke in the air, a lot of ash in the air. Um, those, those people that are um, uh, inclined to light fires see that, get excited, and they come around and, and start lighting up. 
And here in Mundaring, it's expected that the arson squad will be called in to investigate as soon as it's safe for officers to enter the fire ground. Alice. All right, thank you, Estelle. Estelle Lewis there.